Hello, friends and family. I'm Elder Pop Samuel. Look who I got with me. <laughs> Shalom, Israel. This is Elder Stephan over here. Yeah, the wind blew him in. <laughs> We're back. Got We're the back. band back together That's again. That's right. Back together again. Right. Look here. We got a class going on about the birth of Christ. It's a lot of controversy going on about the birth of Christ. Did the most high impregnate Mary or, or she just all of a sudden became pregnant? Um, what we do, we go through the Bible and get the, the scriptures out of the Bible. Romans three and four said, let God be true in every man's a liar. So we're going to get evidence out of the Bible. The Bible is a tool. It's a book. It's a war book. It's also a law book. It's just like when you go to court, the judge, the attorney got a law book. This law book is from the most high. So. We're going to go through precepts at the beginning of the class to keep us in the spirit because these precepts you have to reflect on all the time throughout the class. Because if you uh, be misled, you can always reflect back to the precepts to get you back on track. Want to add something to that there? Yeah. Uh, so um, what's, what's important that you understand? There's parts of the understanding of this that's been it's been brought out by you know a lot of these uh, even these Israelite camps and they have a good bit of what happened but they don't understand a very important part of what this this story is telling because they think it's talking about a man and a woman right and the man ended up uh even though she was uh, pregnant, he he had sex with her, <laughs> but he didn't want her to get killed. Mm. That's why he put her away private. But it ain't. It's not saying that. It's not okay? saying that. It's saying something totally different. But the only way you're gonna be able to get the understanding is you got to see it spiritually. You never will be able to get the understanding of what it's talking about unless you understand what it means spiritually. That's in right. order to get you in the frame of mind of spiritual, we always read certain scriptures in order to make you know what we're talking about. So we're going to go to Job 11 and verse 6. I'm going to read it, Elder. You can go ahead and bring it out. All right. Job 11, verse 6. Uh-huh. And that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom. It's a secret. It's a secret. Look for the secret. Isaiah 55 and 8 said you must get the most high understanding that's what you want to be like matthew 5 and 48 we want to be like the most high so we want to get his understanding is what he's talking about read that they are double 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 carnal compared to spiritual carnal compared to spiritual you have two bodies you have a carnal body and a spiritual body which makes a living soul read to that which is Know therefore that God exacteth of thee less than thine iniquity deserves. All right. We're going to go to Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. Uh -huh. I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions. Visions. Multiplied visions. Not carnal. It's also spiritual. Read. And use Similitude. You see that? Read. By the ministry of the prophets. Carnal, spiritual. For instance, and when you think about water, liquid water, it's liquid water, but then there's spiritual water for the spiritual body. It's going to be double. Carnal, spiritual. And as you know, in order to get the kingdom Christ said in Matthew 13 you had to know the mysteries That's of right. the kingdom of heaven the mysteries are the spiritual understanding you cannot get the understanding of what the Bible is saying the stuff the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven unless you look at the Bible spiritually we've showed you spiritual. many classes that if you don't see that is spiritual you get a totally different meaning you might think that Jonah was actually in the <laughs> belly of a whale. Yes. You don't know what belly means. <laughs> belly means something. It means something. Right? Yes. If you don't take the time, you'd be 
you'd be sitting up here looking foolish <laughs> like one of these um, <laughs> elders of Israel, uh, yeah. the, the big muckety muck in purple. I'm telling you. The king in purple. <laughs> yes. When he gave a class talking about he don't know how to weigh fire. Oh. But you can't weigh fire carnally. You're going to explain that to him. But elder. you can weigh it spiritually. That's right. Let's That's get right. it. Let's just show it to him. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to show it to you. It's in the Apocrypha here, right? If you think carnally, it's going to lead you astray. Every time. But if you think spiritually, it's going to. It's going to guide you according to where you're supposed to go. Yes. This is a very simple breakdown on how to weigh fire. All right. Where we at, Elm? We're going to go to uh, 2 Ezra chapter 4. Mm-hmm. And we're going to start at uh, verse 1. And it reads, And the angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriah, gave me an answer. Okay, so this is Esdras talking with an angel. Now, you're going to learn that when the Bible is saying it's talking to an angel, it's talking about a thought in his mind. An angel is a messenger. Yes. It's a spiritual thought in his mind. Yes. Okay. Read on. And said, the heart have gone too far he's, in this world. He's telling you. He's telling. He's admonishing Ezra. Because Ezra is righteous. But he's telling him, your heart, which is the mind. Matthew, has gone too far. Was it was Matthew, Matthew 15, 19? Matthew also, 15, 19. Mark 7, 21. Okay, that tells you that the heart is the mind. Uh -huh. He said um, it's gone too far in this world. The world is calm. Okay, when it starts talking about world, earth, it's talking about calm. Carl. All right? Uh -huh. So, and, go uh -huh. ahead. And thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the most high. He's telling him you can't comprehend the way of the most high if you think in calm. Uh -huh. All right? So the most high, you have to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's what he's telling Ezra. You can't, you can't come to me with a carnal understanding. Uh -uh. Read on. Verse 3. Then said I, yea, my Lord. And he answered me and said, I am sent to shew thee three ways and to set forth three similitudes before thee. He's, this, he's getting ready to show him something. He's going to show him that that carnal thinking, he can't answer these three similitudes, right? Verse 4. Whereof, if thou canst declare me one, I will shew thee also the way that thou whence the wicked heart cometh. Mm -hmm. And I said, tell on, my Lord. Then said he unto me, go thy way. Weigh me the weight of the fire. Okay. So we're going to give you the weight of fire. Fire. Okay. When you think carnal, the first thing you think is that's weight. This book weighs however many grams or however many pounds. That's the first thing mm -hmm. that comes to your mind. Carnal. Uh -huh. Carnally. But spiritually, when you weigh something, let's say, for instance, you say, Do I want chicken? Or beef, mm -hmm. like they ask you a question on the airplane. <laughs> Chicken or beef. So you weighing mm -hmm. spiritually, spiritually what you want. Chicken mm -hmm. or beef. Mm -hmm. Beef. So now the scriptures say, he said, weigh me the weight of fire. Mm -hmm. Elder, let's get what this fire is. Elder, take me to James uh, chapter 3 and verse 5. We'll do it. James chapter 3 and verse 5. And it reads, mm -hmm. Even so the tongue is a little member. The tongue. It's talking about the tongue. Mm -hmm. You speak with your tongue. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And both of great things. Mm -hmm. Behold, how great a matter a little fire can live. It just, con it just compared mm -hmm. the tongue mm -hmm. to fire. To fire. Okay. It sure now go to Jeremiah 5 and 14 for me. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words and thy mouth fire. <laughs> fire. Yes. And this people would. 
Mm-hmm. And it shall devour them. It's telling you, fire is the word. It's the word. So when you able to get the understanding of what he's saying, so he's asking you to consider oh. the word. Oh man, that's heaven. Way fire means consider the word. That's right. How 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 uh, <laughs> powerful oh, man. is the most high's word. Oh, it's very powerful. It's so powerful it can break bones. This year, That's man. how you weigh fire. Can I you weigh how that? powerful the most high's word is. That's right. But go ahead, Elder. What Jeremiah you 23, 29. Jeremiah, Since we're in that book. Jeremiah chapter 23, uh-huh. verse 29. Uh-huh. Is not my word like as a fire? Fire. Saith the Lord. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. That's some of the balls to me. So he basically <laughs> saying when you weigh the most high's word Bro, versus brother. anybody else's Bro. word, his word can break rocks in the pieces. That's right. Rocks is ain't that doctor. That's doctor. That's what let's works. matter of fact, let's go to let's go to Proverbs chapter thirty. So we can let you know what a rock is. We're going we to uh, verse 19. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 19. Mm-hmm. The way of an eagle in the air. Okay, so now he's getting ready to make some comparisons between mm-hmm. two objects. All right. You're going to get it at the end. He's comparing two objects. All right. Start over again, Elder. The way of an eagle in the air. So he's comparing the eagle to the air. Read on. The way of a serpent upon a rock. Serpent? Rock. We know a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, we do. The way of a ship in the midst of the sea. Ship and sea. Uh-huh. Read on. And the way of a man with a maid. Man made. We know a woman is a doctrine. That's right. Anytime you see a word like woman, uh-huh. sister, uh-huh. daughter. That's right. Uh Concubine, yes. wife, yes. mother. It's similar to. It's a similar to for doctrine. Yes. A woman is a doctrine. It's a all doctrine. Right? So we're going to read it again. Mm-hmm. And we know it's, uh, that um, it, the last uh, example it gave was a man. So mm-hmm. he's telling you mm-hmm. the first object is a man. The second object is a doctrine. A so doctrine. we're going to start over again so you can get it. Proverbs chapter 30. In verse 19, Mm -hmm. the way of an eagle in the air. An eagle is a man. When Mm -hmm. you see an eagle in the Bible, if you see any animal in the Bible, it's talking about men. Yes. All right? Yes. The air is a doctrine. When you hear the word air, Mm -hmm. it's talking about a doctrine. Mm -hmm. Read on. The way of a serpent upon a rock. A serpent is a man. Just like that serpent that was in the Garden of Eden was a man. It sure was. And it says a serpent on a rock. Uh-huh. So the word rock represents a doctrine. A doctrine. The most high's word is so powerful uh-huh. that it can break doctrines. It can break other doctrines. That's yeah, what right. it's saying. That's, That's right. how you weigh fire. Because the most high doctrine, uh-huh. you have to weigh its importance yes. versus another doctrine. Take it the most oak. Up most seriously. That's how you weigh fire. <laughs> All right. Yes. But when them people come and they start talking about, well, I can't see how they can put fire on a scale. <laughs> they think carnal. That <laughs> means if you listening to somebody carnal, he's not giving you the understanding you're supposed to get. Yes. All right. Yes. But we're gonna move along. We're gonna get on with the class here. But that's the mind frame you need to keep. You need to keep in mind that you need to be spiritual not carnal you can weigh fire spiritually you cannot weigh fire carnally okay if you can get that concept yes you can understand what the most High said because that's how you worship him in spirit spirit that's the word ain't it that's yes spirit and the truth that's john, the word john 4 24 <laughs> that's the word yes so if you understand that these words have a spiritual meaning to yes. them Yes. You can understand what the Bible says. Yes. Always All right? go toward the spiritual side. The spiritual side. Always. That's. The uh, moment you go carnal, oh you man. mess up. Yes. 
the very moment. Yeah. So we going we gonna hope that you can focus and be spiritual mm-hmm. as we bring this class out. If you stay spiritual, you'll be able mm-hmm. to get the understanding. And we're gonna give you the precepts, what yes. it means spiritually. You will only learn what it means carnally. We're about to give you what it means spiritually. So we're gonna go to Matthew chapter one. Mm-hmm. So we can get started. Matthew chapter one and verse 18. Yeah, we want to start at 18. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Mm-hmm. When as his mother, Mary, was espoused to Joseph mm-hmm. before they came together. Mm-hmm. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Okay, so now, it just, it just said that, we're going to read it again uh-huh. here. I'm going to read it to you. It says, now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother, Mary, was a spouse to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. So carnally, that's telling you <laughs> that before they became married, uh-huh. Joseph found out she was already pregnant. Uh-huh. Right? That's where they get the immaculate conception yes, from. Yes, yes. Because they don't know what it's saying. They don't. Right? Now... Uh, some of the Israelite camps, they'll teach you that, no, she actually had sex with the man, oh. right? And that's how she got pregnant, right? And that uh, he didn't want to, because uh, one of the one of the laws back in, uh, in, in the uh, Connor law say uh-huh. that if a woman, you know, cheat on a man, yeah. you know, they'll, they'll stone her and all that other stuff. Yeah. If she can't present... The tokens of her virginity. Mm-hmm. That's how it's taught That's in the Israelite too. camps. All right. Too. So mm-hmm. now we're about mm-hmm. to give you the spiritual understanding of what this thing is saying. Mm-hmm. All right. First, we're going to start with. Um, it says. The mother, mm-hmm. his mother. Now, we just explained to <laughs> you that a woman is a doctor. Mm-hmm. This, the the the. Proverbs 30 and 19 showed you a man with a maid. Yes. A man with a maid, a woman, is a doctor. First, we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 1, right? So that we can give you the understanding of what this mother is. A mother is a woman. A woman is a doctor. Go to uh, Proverbs 1 and 8 for me, Elder. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. Mm-hmm. My son, mm-hmm. hear the instruction of thy father. Your father is the person that teaches you. That's your father. That's what the spiritual understanding of what father means. All right? Yes. Read on. And forsake not the law of thy mother. Did it just say that the mother, the did. woman, is that, a law? That's right. A doctrine. That's right. It's telling you a woman is a doctrine. Yes, let's right. go to Let's go to chapter 6. Verse Proverbs uh, 20. Chapter 6, verse 20. Mm-hmm. My son, keep thy father's commandment mm-hmm. and forsake not the law of thy mother. A woman is a doctor. It's a doctor. A woman is a doctor. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go back to Matthew 1 and 18. And when it says, now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother, mm-hmm. Mary, is saying... This is a doctrine, a doctrine by the name of Mary. Mary. What you're going to figure out is this is a this whole thing <laughs> is occurring in Joseph's mind. <laughs> the entire conversation about the birth of Christ. They're telling you the most high gave Joseph. Yes. A doctrine. Yes. Y'all see that? Yes. And it says. When his mother, mm-hmm. the doctrine. Mary was espoused to Joseph. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get what this espoused means. Absolutely. Before we go to espouse. Okay. We're going to go to uh, explain uh, another one of these mothers. Go to Sirach 15. Sirach 15 and 1. Sirach is Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Uh-huh. The Apocrypha was part of the Bible. Whenever um, later on in time, they some people made the determination that this was not canon, right? But it's actually canon, all right? 
They just didn't want certain things to come out because it basically say Alexander the Great was a uh, king, and he says when he died, evil was spread through the world. They took that to um, associate that with Greek yes. people being yes. wicked, so they took it out. All right. I think uh, friends and family, what y'all got to realize: everything has a name. Mm -hmm. This doctrine have a name. Mm -hmm. Everything got a name. Everything you can think of, yes, you can imagine, has a name. Everything. The doctrine name is Mary. Okay. So okay. now we're gonna go to uh, to Ecclesiasticus uh, fifteen, and we're gonna start at verse one. So Sirach fifteen verse one. Read. He that feareth the Lord will do good. Absolutely. And he that hath knowledge. Of the law shall obtain her. Her, her. Mm -hmm. So it's telling you that this knowledge is called her. Mm -hmm. So it's a doctrine. Read. Mm -hmm. And as a mother. Mother, mother. Shall she meet him. Meet him. This doctrine going to meet him, which is the mother. Mm -hmm. And receive him as a wife married of a virgin. You see that? This is a doctrine. Going to marry him. So you saying that don't mean that a man going to marry his own mother. Yeah, that, that don't, don't make sense, no, do it? No, that don't make sense. This doctrine right here is the head of several other doctrines. It's not the head of all doctrines. But this doctrine here. Is the head, the mother of many doctrines. That's what Mother it's Mary. All it's right. just like uh, Gal Galatians 4 and 26. Mm -hmm. Let me get that for you. Now, you know, Elder, this uh, scripture here, whenever I read this scripture, uh -huh. you know, it was taught to me uh -huh. that this was saying that uh, this ain't talking about what. You saying <laughs> that's my the dirt over there? That's just talking about the dirt. <laughs> so the dirt, like in Galatians chapter three, we don't have to go there. It said the spirit came first. Mm -hmm. So how the carnal gonna teach the spirit? So well, I don't know now. Y'all, they, <laughs> they saying something about that land is the motherland. Oh, that's the motherland. That's why them okay. people killing each other over there. Okay, that's God land. See what they don't understand? It say heaven gonna come down. It's gonna be like earth, so everything got to be spiritual. It's got to be uh, so the most high is preparing us right now mm -hmm. to be spiritual. So when it comes down, mm -hmm. we'll be already ready. That's right. All right, read that, Elder. So Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Uh-huh. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Of uh, Jerusalem, which is above, is free. That means it don't have no attachments. It's not in captivity. Right. It's not. It's 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 free. Yes. Read. Which is the mother of us all. That's the spiritual doctrine. The mother of us all. That one right there is over all the doctrines right there. That doctrine got a name, which happened to be. Jerusalem. Correct. So now, being that that was the mother of us all, uh -huh. is that the doctrine that the Most High gave Adam? Brother, that doctrine right there is it. That's it. That's it right That's there. That's the one. That's the one right there. That's the doctrine the Most High gave Adam. That's it right, right? there. And see, y'all don't understand, but we're going to go Matter of fact, let's go to uh, Genesis 2 so we can give you the understanding of this thing with Adam and Eve. Y'all going to understand a woman is a doctrine. It's we a keep doctrine. saying a, a woman doctrine. is a doctrine. A woman is a doctrine. Carnal, mm -hmm. spiritual. That's right. Carnal, spiritual. You got to learn how to write divide. That's what you got to do. You need to put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor. Not just a precept package. Right. The whole book. Yes. The whole book. The whole book been translated to be spiritual. Correct. It's spiritual. Correct. Yes. So now, what you about to find out is, Adam, now it was some woman that he had in the garden, right up there. Human being yeah. woman yeah. that he had. He sure did. But he also had another woman yeah, yeah. in his mind. Yes. Okay. Y'all going to understand what this thing means. 
when the most high is talking about a woman, he's talking about a doctor. And we're going to show you mm -hmm. what actually happened mm -hmm. in this garden. Bring it out of here. So let's go to Genesis 2. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start at verse 21. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. I like saying that. Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Mm -hmm. And he slept. Mm -hmm. And he took one of his ribs. His rib. A rib is a bone, right? It is your rib. We're going to give you the precepts. But write these precepts down so you understand how to actually break this down. That stuff that they've been telling you, it ain't, it ain't correct because it ain't precept upon precept. Bone means something. It sure do. But read on. And closed up. The flesh instead thereof. Okay, so he done took the flesh is understanding. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So he 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 took one of his bones, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And he getting ready to create something with this bone. Okay. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He made a woman. Right. And brought her unto the man. Okay. So he gave Adam. The woman. Mm -hmm. We just said a woman is a doctor. We just read it. We just gave you several precepts. Carl. He gave Adam spiritual. a doctrine. That's Carl. what that's saying. Spiritual. All right. Read on. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones mm -hmm. and flesh of my flesh. Yes. She shall be called woman mm -hmm. because she was taken out of man. Correct. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife mm -hmm. and they shall be one flesh. Okay, so it's telling you that the Most High is going to give a man a doctrine and he going to be espoused or married to that doctrine. That's right. That's what he's telling you, right? Yes. yes. And they're going to become one flesh. He's going to adopt that. Once he, once he adopts that wife, that means he believes. He believes. That's what it's telling you. All right? Yes. So let's get this bone so you can know what the bone is. Let's go to Job 21. Y'all write down these precepts because we're serious about this. Y'all see what's going on in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things going on. Where are we at, Elder? We're going to go to Job 21, verse 22. Job chapter 21 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. And it reads... Shall any teach God knowledge? Mm, so it's talking about teaching mm -hmm. and knowledge. Right? We don't. Seeing he judges those that are high. Mm -hmm. One dieth in his full strength, mm -hmm. being holy at ease and quiet. Mm -hmm. His breasts are full of milk. Mm -hmm. Breasts and full of milk. Mm -hmm. Milk. That, that, that's understanding. That's it? understanding. Okay. Say his breath. Stay in the milk, brother. Oh, fully, Stay in the milk, fully, brother. His breath. That's that carnal understanding. <laughs> oh, right? my God. And his bones are moistened with marrow. It just made a correlation, a comparison between milk and bones. Mm -hmm. Because bone means understanding, it's, wisdom, they, knowledge. They, that's they, what it's talking about. Yes. You yep. see that?